welcome to crafting with Ty and friends today in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how to decorate my acrylic blanks you can use these for ornaments keychains i'm going to be showing you guys a few different ways on how to decorate them this is how they look um i have the back covering off but this is one that is engraved they come with covering on the front and back. This is to protect the acrylic from not scratching when in transportation to you from me because I do sell these blanks in any shape you um, could think of can be done. So let's begin. I have my blanks here and then I have my vinyl cutouts. I also have Mod Pudge. Two different color glitters because I'm going to be glittering two of these. And I'm using top coat. Um, I might do one in epoxy. I'm not sure. But you can use triple thick, top coat, epoxy when, you, when you're when um, you glittering these. It is your choice. So let's begin. The first thing you want to do is take the covering off. This covering, um, the front covering of this one is already off. You can see that it actually has been lasered, so it's engraved already. This this was done when it was being cut, and I still have the back covering on. Um, I'll keep the back covering on until I finish glittering, or unless I am putting vinyl on the back. So the first thing I'm going to do is take off my white covering. Now this is the hardest part is um, not taking it off, it's just getting it started. So. Go ahead, pull the covering off. Now you have your blank smooth. Acrylic blank. Now what we're gonna do is take our Mod Pudge and I am taking a piece of paper to put under here while I glitter. I am going to be glittering um, two of these, so I'm going to glitter this ornament and I'm also going to glitter this jersey. So let me go ahead and remove the paper from there and grab another paper because it's going to be um, a different color of glitter. And we can begin to glitter. You're gonna put a layer of Mod Pudge. Just go ahead and brush it on. On your blank. I'm gonna do both of them. Then you're gonna take your your glitter. Oops, excuse me. And shake it onto. Your blank. So this one is, I'm doing yellow. I'll just take my finger and pat down. I'm gonna take the ornament and just shake. of the unnecessary yellow you don't need on there. And just let that dry a little bit and go ahead and glitter your other one if you are doing two. Or just let it dry for a minute and then you'll do a second coat of glitter. I usually just do two coats, um, but you can do as many as you need. Shake it. Some spots didn't get. It. 
I saved glitter, so I will be putting this back into my jar. This is why I use two different papers. But we'll let that dry. We'll set this to the side while they dry and we'll get started on a vinyl decoration. So I'm going to be decorating this engraved one. It has a little bit of glitter on there, but I'm gonna be decorating this one in vinyl. I'm gonna be placing a vinyl on the back and that's about it, but you can also add a baby's name here with vinyl. Um, when you're working with vinyl, if you guys do tumblers, um, you guys can epoxy these or top coat, triple coat, and then place your vinyl and then coat it over again. The choice is yours. You don't have to. Um, that is that is extra work, so the choice is yours. But when you make these, you can sell these for um, anywhere between $9, $8 to $15 are up just depending on the items you use. So like if I was to epoxy these and then vinyl and then epoxy over the vinyl, I would actually charge more because that's an extra step I had to do in extra materials that I used. So I'm getting this removed. And you can see the engraving way better when the back is off. So you can also add glitter on this one, whatever, but we are going to be using this vinyl cutout. It's um, holographic vinyl. I'm going to be putting it on the back of my ornament. So I'm going to place this here and I'm going to try to perfectly place this over my vinyl. Now this is an SVG piece that comes with the cutout so that you can decorate. Um, you can make sure that your cutouts will fit on your blank. They all come with SVG cutouts. The only one that comes with the hold is the, the ornaments. The other ones don't come with the hole, so if you were to use it, it wouldn't come out with the cut hole. And that's so when you are lining it up on your blank, if you make a mistake and don't line it up perfect, then your hole will be, you know, somewhere else. So once you line it up, you just poke your hole in it yourself. So let's go ahead and try to line this up as perfect as we can get it. I have glitter all in the inside of that. But I think I did all right. I'll take my squeegee and go ahead and squeeze over. And then I will pull back my transfer tape. And the transfer tape that I am using is just this magic cover that came from Dollar Tree is basically a cabinet liner. So I just pay a dollar for a roll. And now you can actually see that it's decorated. You can see my, um, sorry, the vinyl from the uh, back is through the front. This one has glitter in it <laughs> because of course we was over here messing with this glitter. So just make sure the glitter is out of your way unless that's the look you're going for. Then you can add the kid's name here. You don't have to add holographic vinyl to the back. You can add color. Um, doesn't matter, but this is one way to decorate your blanks. And then we're going to take our... Doo -doo 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 other blank and we are going to peel off if I can get it when you are placing it on the back of your um blanks mirror mirror it before you cut so I remove the top, 
And this time I am going to, uh, am I going to place it on the top? Actually, nope. I'm going to place this actually on the bottom also. That way, if I feel like putting something on the top, which I'm not in this video, I can. But you also can put this on the top and still layer other things on top of this. Actually, we will go through the top on this video so you guys can see. So I have my cut on my transfer sheet. Let me try to wipe off the little glitter. And now I'm just going to layer it over. Take your time, don't rush. If you are new to layering, take your squeegee or your hands and just go ahead and rub it out. And then pull back on your transfer tape. few bubbles but I think that's for some glitter but now I have layered this on top and then as you can see hold on let me pull this off to let you see the back so if I was to layer it on the back this is how it looks and this is the front you can go ahead and decorate both sides one side it's your choice um you go ahead and take I don't have my my little sticky thing here. I'm going to use this, but go ahead and then punch out your little hole. Don't mind me. I'm using the seam reaper, but there's another tool or other tools you can use. And you have your hole, so you can go ahead and add your hardware. So you can go ahead and add your hardware. You can just go add ahead and add your... Um, Oh my God, this key ring through the hole, or you can first add some jump, jump links with a chain to give it. Oh, I can't find it. To give it, uh, you know, a longer look, you can add one of these type of pieces. So the hardware you add to these is your choice. There is lots of different hardwares out there, different shapes, different kinds. Um, so let's set this to the side and get back to adding glitter on this ornament. So it's probably not all the way dry, but I'm going to get this done today. I don't even want to stick my brush back in there. <laughs> so you're just coating with your Mod Pudge again. Then you're going to add glitter. Oh, too much, too much, too much. All right, that was too much. So let me... So go ahead and add your glitter. Now I'm only doing two coats. So once this dries, I am going to um, add my top coat. Deco Art Clear Pouring Top Coat that I got at Hobby Lobby. This is the same thing that I've been using for my keychains um, to this. On the blue one, I think I'm going to use some epoxy. Just to show you guys the little difference. 
the um epoxy just takes longer to cure when i'm um, decorating these you can use rhinestones uh pearls there's so many things you can do when decorating these acrylic blanks So I got too much on this side right here. I'm just gonna bloop, take my magic wand and clean it off. All right, so I'm gonna let that dry on one of these so I can steal my glitter back. And then I'm going to take the blue one and do a second coat on that one. Okay, so while we wait for the glitter ones to dry, I'm gonna go ahead and decorate the jersey one here. And I'm going to show you guys how to add software. I'm gonna be using the, the jump ring. A piece of chain. And a key ring. So, let's begin. I already have my um, vinyl cutouts cut. Not nothing special. Um. Okay, so while we let the other ones dry, the glitter ones, I'm gonna go ahead and decorate this jersey. And I'm gonna also uh, um, attach the hardware here so you guys can see how I attach my hardware. So I already have my acrylic blank. And you guys seen me place the vinyl on the back here and cut my little hole out. And I have some more cutouts. This is not for an order. This is some cutouts I already had. And I have my jump ring, a piece of chain, and my key ring. I'm gonna cut my chain though, just probably like in half. And now I'm gonna just go ahead and place my vinyl cutouts onto the design. Yeah, if I can get it to act right. Okay. This holographic vinyl, whatever you want to call it, always gives me issues. Look, it let me peel it, but then it still has some of the backing attached. Yeah, sucks. So once you finally get your backing off, go ahead and place your vinyl onto your blank in whatever spot you want it. Rub down, squeegee, whatever your method is. Pull back.
So now I have my key change of design. First T, don't ask. I don't know. And I'm going to take my jump ring. Oops, sorry. You guys can see. And I'm going to open it up. Um, I don't know this tool, the name of this tool. It is in the jewelry section at craft stores. You're going to put your jump ring through the hole here. Then you're going to take your chain and also place it on your jump ring and take your tools or whatever you're using. You can even take your fingers and just squeeze and close your jump ring up. You don't have to use this method like I stated before. You can just go ahead and take your key ring and slide it through the hoop. You can add, you know, tassels and puff balls or whatever you want to here. But then you just take your, excuse me, another jump ring. You don't have to take another jump ring. You can actually just slide your key ring through one of your chain links. But I like to just to do a jump ring. So take another jump ring, open it up, put it on your key ring, and then slide it through your chain. You don't have to have your chain so long. Let me get it through. And then close it up. I just don't, don't want to close with my fingers. So we're going to have to close with the tool. But once you go ahead and get it closed, which is taking me way longer than I needed to take. Okay, guys, it doesn't want to close for me. So once you get the jump ring on, then you basically have your key ring. Decorated, you can decorate the front, the back. Now let's go ahead and finish the ones we started with the glitter. Okay, so now I have my glittered ornament dried. I still have my back piece on and I am going to be applying my top clear coat. So I'm just going to pour a little there. And Brush it all over the place. This is going to give it the little shiny coat. You can use triple thick. You can use epoxy. It's your choice. I just try to get it all even on there. With using the same, like if I'm gonna, once I'm done, all my strokes will be going the same way. I got some blue glitter in there, but it doesn't matter. Now, once you get it coated with your epoxy, your clear coat, or your triple thick, or whatever,
top coat you're using. Set it to the side and let it dry. Now I'm going to show you guys, um, I'm going to do the blue one using epoxy. It's basically the same step, so I'm just going to be brushing it on to the acrylic blank. All right, so I'm gonna set this to the side and then we are going to do the blue one. All right, so let's go ahead and top coat this one, but we're gonna be using epoxy for this. When I use epoxy, I always use gloves. Um, I think I had an allergic reaction or something to this. I already have my epoxy mix because I used this for a tumbler a few minutes ago. So I am going to just pour some epoxy onto my keychain and this time i'm just going to take my fingers like i do when i'm doing um my tumbler and i'm just going to coat around it rub the epoxy on it so again i am just pouring and rubbing you can use your paintbrush, so you can dip your paintbrush into the epoxy, and you can do it that way, but I'm going to try it this way. That should be good. Just make sure you get it in all the spots. And then you just move it to the side to dry. Then once that dry, we can actually go ahead and put our vinyl decorations on top. Okay, so now we have our glitter ornaments dried. And some of my clear coat, but that's an easy fix. So you can see that it's dried. I have to poke the hole. But this is the one with the clear coat. Some of my little edges aren't perfect. That's a very easy fix. But this is the clear coat one. And this is the epoxy one. I actually like how the epoxy cures and um, the triple coat will cure kind of like this. So I recommend using either epoxy or triple thick when using these. You see, it just gives it a better kind of shine than the, um, I can't let you guys see it too good, but then the clear coat does. So epoxy for the win or triple thick is what I will be using when making these to sell. Now we are going to be placing some vinyl decals on top of these since they are dried and ready to go. With the top coat, I will actually put another layer on it because I can still kind of like feel my glitter. With the epoxy, you can't. I can't feel the glitter. So one coat is enough. I have my number 20 that I am placing on my jersey. Just rub down. Take your squeegee. Your hand, credit card, whatever you're using. Then I have my name, Johnson. Now I'm going to take this monogram, this is my daughter's monogram, and I'm going to be placing it on the ornament. You know in down south, monograms are super big. You monogram everything, anything. So these ornaments, the monogram ornaments, I believe will sell good. I'm placing this on top of this ornament, and I'm actually, this is for my daughter, 
So we will be probably placing this on our tree. I don't know if we're doing a theme tree this year or what. But I am going to do um, epoxy over this one here. I might come back and show you guys the final look of that. But I am going to seal this vinyl using epoxy. So you can leave this just like it is. It's good, it's nice, it's neat. Um, you just go ahead and remove your back. Or you can go ahead and place another layer of epoxy over it to um, seal in your vinyl. I won't be doing that for this one. I am gonna do it for this one only because the clear coat coating didn't go as I, as I would like it to go. Like I could still feel the glitter and everything. So I'm gonna seal that in. But you go ahead and you remove this. Remember this is the hardest part of designing these is removing your, um, your protective color, cover layering. Just once you get it started, it's, it's, it's an easy removal. So, you go ahead and remove this. And now I'm done. And this is a keychain. You can make ornaments from these also. You can get them cut smaller, make little charms for a jewelry. But once you remove your final backing, you basically have your keychain. Glittered, epoxied, vinyl. You can see how it looks from the back, from the front. Same thing here. I will have to remove the backing. But there you go. Thank you for watching my how-to videos on decorating these vinyl acrylic blanks if you would like to know where to purchase them you can come to my group um i sell these cut in many different um styles shapes whatever you need thank you for watching please like hit the subscribe button tell your friends i said don't stop don't stop don't stop talking to me stop don't stop don't stop yeah.